Good morning, Arizona. I wish I were standing up in Flagstaff right now, but believe it or not, this is downtown Phoenix behind me. More than two feet of snow fell overnight in this freak October storm. Okay, that very real looking GMAS reporter is anything but that. In fact, this woman completely AI generated, as is all that snow on the ground and on the mountains and on the cacti. I know, crazy. This entire scene created by OpenAI's new feature called Sora 2, which allows users to pretty much type in any idea and then you get a generated video. That this is, is just incredible. It is unbelievable. So as you can imagine, this new type of uh, feature stirring up both curiosity and concerns. ASU Professor Andrew Maynard, he's our expert with AI stuff, is here to talk about the good and the bad. You created that video. Well, Sora created it. Well, I told it what to create. You told it what to do. And it did it. Oh my uh, gosh. So is there any way for us sitting here to look at that and Oh, it's fake because of that. Is there, there? there is. Okay. So, so if you look closely, it's got a little thing on it saying Sora. So okay. you know it was made by Sora. But if it didn't have that? If it didn't have that, it would be really tough to tell whether it was real or not. And of course, it's easy to remove that little badge. Right. Oh, my gosh. And this brings up, you know, yes, there are so many neat things we can do with yeah. it to be creative for fun. But it can also be dangerous. How do we know the difference, right? And that is the challenge. We've never had this ability before. So yeah, it's a lot of fun creating videos and creating sort of videos of people talking about different things, saying different things. Um, so it's it's addictive. But we really don't know the downsides at the moment. So I'll give you an example. Mm -hmm. You take someone like Martin Luther King, okay. and people have been posting um, videos like this over the last few weeks. You put words in his mouth that he would have never said, oh, and it wow. looks like a real video. Is that a good thing to do? I probably not. I, I mean, uh, we were talking about this during the commercial. I can see this getting into the news business where people are like, mm -hmm. you know, yep. playing games or trying to fool people. Absolutely. And, and, then, and then, yes, you know, because yep. we can't tell. And how do you tell? I mean, especially if it's a story where you think that sounds like it must be true. It aligns with what you believe. How are you going to discern what's right and what's not? So what well, is your advice for as this becomes sadly a way of life, right? It's becoming more and more yeah. mainstream. It's, you know, we've seen chat GPT being used in schools. I know my kids yeah. are using it in school in classes. Yeah, I think we've got to be really careful. These technologies can do tremendous things. I mean, even this video generation, it allows you to see things that are just in your, your mind and share them with others. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. But I think every user has got to understand where the potential consequences are. And any institution that's actually encouraging its use has got to make sure that users understand where the dark side of this is. And I don't know if you heard, but they announced an arrest in the Palisades mm. fire in California. And they're using chat, BT, uh, chat GPT as evidence because the guy uh, is accused of uh, making those photos right there with the city burning. So now it's evidence. I've never heard of that before. No, and we're actually seeing this more and more. So there have been other cases, very, very sadly, where mm -hmm. young people have taken their own lives. And it seems mm -hmm. like there's a connection between their use of chat GPT and, and their actions. So it is appearing in evidence. Now, it's really hard to tell <laughs> where those connections are at the moment, but there are enough red flags coming up that indicate that there is something serious that we need to be aware of here. Do you think we're using all this stuff, releasing it, creating it too soon, not knowing what the consequences are? I think there are not enough conversations about where those guardrails should be and where the consequences might be and how we need to use it responsibly. Uh, by the way, uh, I see all the time on social media, hey, uh, uh, AI is going to produce a lot of millionaires. Uh, is that something you study in school? I mean, do you see that? It is that is. going to be I, the good side of it? Well, I, you know, the jury is out at the moment. There is a lot of money flowing around AI at the moment, but it's concentrated in one or two small areas. Um, and I'm sure there are some really enterprising people out there that are going to make a lot of money from mm -hmm. it. But I think there are going to be a lot of people that lose money through it as well, whether it's yeah. losing their jobs or their livelihood. Okay, that's very interesting. Oh, wow. gosh. So yeah, it's always AI, so fun careful. to talk to you because <laughs> I feel like it's, so, it's such a huge topic now but so many of us know so little about it and yeah well every week i think you'll be joining us telling us about what the latest new thing is <laughs> right, right and how us. to think about it yes. <laughs> but that video was something else it really was thank you so much for joining thank you. us